Hi, this is Mark from LongOutWatch.com, and today I'm bringing to you another video in the series of American watchmaking. So, just a couple days ago on Instagram, I posted a photo of a Brillier uh, Airborne watch, which I'm going to review for you today. I have them in the store. Uh, obviously, I want to do a review on them, but before I do, I want to talk to you, um, you know, just for a couple of minutes about where the watches are assembled, where they're made, uh, a little bit about the factory. So, uh, the Brillier line of watches, of which I'm only carrying one, there are other varieties available on their website, uh, is assembled in the USA. It's assembled at uh, Fountain Hills, Arizona, which is uh, outside Scottsdale, Phoenix area. Uh, this is the same facility that I talked about in an earlier video that is making American-made quartz movements. This watch happens to have a Miyota automatic in it, so the watch, to be FTC, Federal Trade Commission correct, is uh, assembled in the USA. Uh, it is made of both domestic and imported components. The watch strap is made in the USA by Jack Foster. It's a Horwin strap. You'll see. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the head dial and movement obviously come from overseas, but everything is brought in to Arizona, into this facility, and I'll, I'll roll some footage. Uh, and you have to, I've been to a lot of watchmakers, and usually in a watchmaker, you, you just walk into a room and there's a watchmaker. This is a little bit different. This is a HEPA filtered environment. Okay, sticky mats on the floor, coats and stuff. Uh, I have worked in microelectronics laboratory before, so I'm very familiar with a very clean environments. Uh, so there's no dust anywhere. The equipment they use, top of the line, you can see from the footage, you know, just to put on the case back, there's thousands of dollars in tooling involved. They employ um, technicians. And the head of the facility, uh, the head of the, I guess, the technical portion of the facility, the master watchmaker, is a CMW-21. If you do not know what a CMW-21 is, in brief, it is a certification given by the AWCI. And it's a certification that not many people attain. It means certified master watchmaker for the 21st century. That is a person that's heading up and overseeing all the operations uh, of assembly. So everything is done with utmost care. They then take this Miyota 8215 movement and they regulate, tune, and test it. Uh, and I'm told to be at least 10 seconds a day accurate. So you take all of that and you roll it in and you get this beautiful blue watch with blue strap assembled in the USA. And even the packaging for the watch, the leather pouch, as I'll show you in a second, is also assembled, made in the USA. Awesome. Uh, my own wrist check, of course, I am still on the Islander High, if you will. I do sport both of them, of course, as, you know, any proud <laughs> entrepreneur should. Uh, more coming, hopefully, October. Uh, and uh, let's head over and check these out. So before we get into the watch, we'll check out the packaging. As I said, the packaging is made in the USA. It's beautiful. I like packaging that is functional. You can actually use this. You can actually store a watch in it, or maybe even two if you wanted to wrap it, because it's a nice size, and take it uh, for vacation, holiday, luggage, whatever. Inside is the watch, a warranty card, give you information, and just a little a little blurb, design, designed, assembled, and tested in the USA. The movement is Japan, regulated and calibrated by FTS USA. Strap is made in the USA. The case and the dial are imported. Brillier Watch Company. So, let us check out the watch, and we'll get rid of everything else. There that goes. So, it is a nice domed crystal, and I'm going to bump up the exposure a bit to try to Bring out the dial, but the lights are going to love this one in the studio. But it is, get my paper, it is a uh, anti-reflective coated mineral crystal, which is not something that you often see. But you can see when I get the lights off of it, the direct reflection, the crystal basically does disappear. And since we know it's assembled in a clean room, a HEPA filtered environment, 
there's not going to be any dust on the inside. Uh, beautiful. Look at that blue. The hands. Yes, it does look like a Zenith Pilot watch. Absolutely. I know. Now we can look at the case back. Assembled in the United States of America. An etching of an airplane. I think it's upside down. It is. Sometimes it's tough for me to see things. Bruyere Airborne. Automatic. Large onion crown. Let's get into the specs. So the watch is it's powered by a Miyota 8215 hand winds. You can hear it. It does not hack. It's not a hacking, uh, not a hacking movement. It's at the time. It's also got a date. You are looking at 43 millimeters in diameter. 12 to that beautiful, slightly domed crystal. Okay, look at look at the integration into the case. Look how smooth that is. Check that out. Almost a line to line fit. Gorgeous. Uh, 50 millimeters on lug tip to lug tip. I did show you the case back. It's screwed down and etched. Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, the middle crystal went over. It is a Jack Foster Horween leather strap, 22 millimeter lugs if you wanted to swap it for something else. But just look at the quality of the strap. How nice it is. Soft, very comfortable. Beautiful tie offs at the end lugs. Polished buckle. Two keepers. Water resistance is 50 meters. The, um, the hands are layered with uh, Super Luminova, so there is great nighttime visibility. Uh, we do have, like I said, the large onion crown. It just makes for so uh, such easy winding, and it's just so nice feeling. Let's, um, let's check out the night shot. Loom Junkies Rejoice. Tell me that's not a breeze to read in low light. You can see it's not that dark in here right now, and it is glowing fabulously. Looks great. So let's zoom in a bit so we can check out the beauty of the dial, the coloring of it. It's a very deep, rich blue. The strap is such a great complement to it. The case finishing is phenomenal. You can see that there you can see that strap, American made, Jack Forster Horween. I want to say the strap itself is like 65 bucks or something. Um, I did not mention price on the watch, and I, I guess I kept that till the end. Um, so the watch is three twenty nine, and because if I start off the video telling you I have a three hundred twenty nine dollar watch powered by a Miyota eighty two fifteen, you're all going to yell at me. Um, but I really need to show you how beautifully it's done, and help you to understand that when you assemble something in the USA, it is obviously much more expensive than doing it in China. But not only that, the company can control everything because they own it. When you outsource a watch to another company, whether it doesn't make, actually it doesn't make a difference what country it's in at this point, uh, you don't control it. You're under their processes and procedures. This watch, this affordable pilot's watch, for 329 bucks, its assembly is being overseen by a guy that could easily just sit at any desk in Omega, Rolex, etc., and just work on their watches, oversee their shop. Those the qualifications that have been that I have been told about uh, that this guy has are unreal. So just think about who's touching your watch, who's overseeing the processes, procedures, and everything else. You know, coming from uh, an assembly environment, you know, when I was in engineering, we did make a lot of stuff. And I can tell you processes and procedures, QA, QC, everything like that just dictates so much what the final product will be. Let me, enough of my yapping, let me uh, try it on. So there you go. The strap is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> it's like so smooth, soft, and supple. It's, I can't even describe it. Forget break in, there's no break in. It just, it hugs so well, it's so comfortable. And I think it helps out on that 43 millimeter size. It just makes the watch that much more comfortable to wear. Uh, below the bone, above the bone. It looks beautiful. So there we are on the straps. You can see how much room there is to go in either direction. Certainly plenty of room. Is that not an eye-catching watch or what? So this has been Mark from LongIronWatch.com showing you the Brillier Airborne, Airborne excuse me, automatic watch. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.